Hello and welcome to Sunflower Auction. This is Greg Pfister, owner and auctioneer, and I'm going to be giving you a video preview of our antique auction that's coming up on Saturday, March the 12th, 2022 at 9 a.m. We'll be having a preview on Friday the 11th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I'm standing here in the middle of the auction gallery uh, in Overland Park, Kansas, on the corner of 127th and Schweitzer. And uh, all the details about this auction can be found on the website, sunflowerauction.com. And if you haven't uh, followed us on Facebook, that'd be a good way to get updates and everything that's taking place. And uh, you can also text or uh, call me at the number on the website and also sign up for our email list. So um, we've got almost everything set up. There's going to be 600 catalog lots in this sale. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, here's the auction we're talking about. There's the flyer and the catalog. Uh, the 600 lot catalog is available on the website as well. So please check that out. And uh, so we're selling a collection from Brookside, uh, which is uh, in Kansas City, Missouri. And this is one person's collection. And uh, they had a particular interest in jewelry and sterling silver and uh, just a lot of neat antiques. So um, the sale will start back here uh, in the overflow area here. We have set up uh, a lot of the jewelry and watches, that kind of thing, some of the smalls and the showcases here. So uh, I think this is where we start. We've got a, quite a number of pocket knives, some real good ones here. And uh, we'll sell the lots just like you see them here in the bags. So there's a, some militaria here. There's a neat piece from uh, Pearl Harbor. A uh, little magnifying glass, I think it is. Maybe a map maker's thing, something like that. Uh, lots of Chinese antiques. There's a Chinese uh, export silver cane handle. We've got buttons. We've got button hooks. Lots of uh, sterling and enamel, cufflinks, pins. Um, here's some of the, and a few sports items there, some Chiefs, some Royals coming up. So here is some of the jewelry. We've got uh, turquoise and sterling, Native American pieces, railroad locks, uh, some really nice trade beads back there in the corner. Victorian jewelry, lots of jade, lots of turquoise. Of course, all the pictures are on the website and everything's in the catalog. This is all part of the catalog. So lots of really nice jewelry. We've got some just some great lots for you guys. Um, two sets of sterling flatware this time. Um, this is the bigger one of the two. Lots of uh, estate tobacco pipes. Lots of them from uh, mostly Danish Copenhagen ones. Uh, there's some French ones that are leather wrapped and some other neat ones in there. So those check those out. Uh, see more jewelry here. We've got rings. Sorry for the glare here. Um, sterling. We have some gold filled. There's some Mark 14K. Just a few on the gold, but mostly sterling silver. Lots and lots of silver. Lots of ounces of silver. Um, we have coins. A few coins. Silver dollars. Watches back there. Um, some more silver international silver uh, gemstones and minerals we'll get to but uh, this is kind of the last of the jewelry and watches some more watches there some coins and um, yeah mostly international on those coins some tokens there some missouri tax tokens and see once we sell out of that back area we will move up Kind of the front corner here. Um, this will be lot somewhere around 200, I believe. And uh, so here's where we continue. Lots of bottles. There, he was a really good bottle collector. <coughs> Excuse me. So he did have a lot of really neat bottles. There's some Fenton Bells. Uh, there's lots of Missouri, some Kansas City bottles. There's St. Joe, Missouri bottles. So the medicine bottles, anyway. Uh, fountain pens. I think there's three lots of fountain pens. 
all these swatch watches, uh, more kind of just bulk type watches, some daguerreotypes here, some pretty good ones there, magic lantern slides, uh, there's that other lot of fountain pens, jewelry caskets, ironwood, we do have some toys and some kind of pop culture stuff in the sale as well. Uh, those are the NFL Super Bowl tokens. Uh, really, he really liked these uh, vintage games, cribbage, uh, backgammon, gambling sets. Those are nice. Uh, some of the Native American down here. Walking sticks, the kachinas, lots of blackware and pottery. And some jade here, some more blackware, some carvings. Kind of a modern kachina there. Um, let's see, some more Oriental, some Rhodes Medallion. Uh, here's some of the gems and minerals. It's kind of a real interesting collection. There's a whole lot of fossils. Petrified wood and fossils, lots of quartz. Really nice lot of copper specimens there. But uh, a, a Galena specimen there at the end. Really interesting stuff. Uh, some more, some box toys. This is all the marks. Uh, Johnny West marks. So, yeah, some loose ones here. Some, most of them in the boxes. A lot of metal detectors. I think there's three of them in there, one with the box. Uh, this is all costume jewelry. Most likely we'll sell choice of all these flats. Haven't really even gone through them, so I couldn't guarantee that we have all the silver out of there. We probably don't. So, Come take a look at those. Probably some good costume in there. Uh, a couple vintage bikes. We got the Trek here and the Fisher over here. Um, some of these prints and stained glass are in the catalog. Some are not. So we will have box lots at the end of the sale, which we will sell after the catalog's concluded. So we'll sell at least 120 lots an hour. So the catalog should take maybe five hours at the most. So that would put us about 2 o'clock, 2 to 3 o'clock for box, box lots. Some really good marbles in here. Um, mostly old handmade. We'll just have to dig through them here. We've got, I think, 200 or 250. I can't remember. Look at the catalog in each bag. But there are some really good ones in there. So these aren't just junk marbles. These are, these are all hand-picked marbles, uh, hand-selected, you know. Not the machine made ones, I don't think. So uh, we've got art glass, we've got Waterford, we've got lighters, um, the mesh purses. Yes, here we go. Here, Victorian mesh purses, Whiting and Davis, and others. Um, and you know, this collection was quite expansive, quite broad in its scope. Um, he had a really good eye for things. We've got. Signed paperweights, studio paperweights, TWA lot, bunch of paperweights. So look up those. Um, some cloisonne, some shells, some cinnabar carving, lots of knives, two uh, fly rods here, vintage typewriters, vintage tools, primitives, Coca Cola. And uh, here is something we didn't really give credit for in two in the catalog. Uh, this is one lot in the catalog, but this is the uh, Victorian button collection. Just incredible. You know, we really didn't photograph this well enough, so here you go. We laid it all out. And uh, some, just some fabulous buttons in that collection. Uh, the other lot, and this is all one lot as well, was the stamp collection. And I can't really flip through all these, but um, clear back to the 1850s, I think, on U.S. And um, I think each book is a different country, but there's a lot of World War II stamps and just, just a really nice collection there. We've got musical instruments. Um, got that really neat shark, Eddie Van Halen shark replica. Uh, that's an 80s Japan six-string. 12-string acoustic and a 6-string acoustic. Um, Stradivarius copy. And then um, this really nice cello. I think it's 1970s. Um, really beautiful instrument there. Uh, and then 
then in the catalog, I think we come over here, that's a Bustamante sculpture, mid-century. A couple of really nice saltware jugs. And some more railroad items. You name it, in antiques, we pretty much have it as far as we have pretty much all the categories covered. Kind of a giant Chinese jade uh, and brass box there. Garbage pill kids, Seba slot. Uh, this is a real nice lot. Most of these are just the shells, but all those sure microphones. Make sure you look those up. We've got pre-war Lionel, autograph sports, baseballs, tin litho windup, some Vaseline glass, nice carved jade piece there. There's a soapstone carving. Sculptures, more trains, more gaming. And that is the catalog. Now what is remaining is the box lots and uncatalogued. And apologize, this is not quite in the state that we'd like it yet. Uh, it's still Wednesday as I'm recording this. So we will spend a little more time. I mean, we're still digging out sterling silver. There's watches, pocket knives, jewelry, bottles, basically everything that's in the catalog. There's more of it here that we just have not had quite enough time to sort. Um, so there is quite a bit yet to go through. So I can't really show you everything here, but we're going to try to get it into some intelligible lots. And uh, it's just, this collection was just so massive. We just have not had time, although we've spent an incredible amount of time thus far getting it to where it's at. But there's still work to go, so uh, come and dig as you look through this stuff at the preview on Friday. But, uh, you know, I think there'll be some surprises for you for looking through this yet. So, anyway, that is the end of the sale, and we'll hope to be done by Hopefully no later than 4 o'clock on Saturday. So that is a walkthrough for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or text me. Give me a call if I can help you sell anything like what you see here. Would love to talk to you as well. So I hope to see you at the auction. Thanks a lot.